guitar of the way. I've been a diehard fan ever since that day with Buffalo Pride, sometimes Buffalo Rage. This is my team, and I'm here to stay.
uniforms, let me introduce you to some of the men you've seen the, wear these jerseys in the past. But first, on behalf of our owner and team founder, Mr. Ralph Wilson Jr., I'd like to welcome Bill's CEO, Mr. Russ Brandon. Russ is also joined by 1960s AFL Championships alumni, wide receiver, number 80, Charlie Ferguson. With Charlie, number 24, Wall of Fame cornerback, Booker Edgerson. And finally, a couple of guys I played with, Running back, number 34, Hall of Famer, Thurman Thomas. And joining Thurman and I on the stage, the only man to ever have his jersey retired from the Buffalo Bills, number 12, Jim Kelly. Smith. Lance Corporal Smith is a 2008 graduate of Maple Grove High School. He joined the Marine Corps in 2010 and also has two brothers in the Marines, Lance Corporal Cole Smith and Lance Corporal Garrett Smith. His father is also a Marine Major Jeffrey C. Smith. Thank you, Lance Corporal Smith, to you and your family and all that you do. National Guard Staff Sergeant Greg Price. Staff Sergeant Price is from Amherst, where he played football and wrestled. He joined the Guard in 2000 as an infantryman with his brother. He served in Operation Iraqi Freedom II. Currently a recruiter at the Connecticut Street in Buffalo. His awards include the Army Good Conduct Medal, the National Defense Medal, Combat Infantry Badge, an Army Service Ribbon. Let's give Staff Sergeant Price a nice round of applause. Next is U.S. Army Specialist Nick Stone. Nick is from Frontier in Hamburg and joined the Army in 2007. He was deployed to Afghanistan in 2009. In May of 2010, only 13 months ago, Specialist Stone lost his leg in a roadside bomb. Specialist Stone is working on being medically retired and plans to finish college with a degree in criminal justice. Specialist Stone has the Purple Heart Medal. Let's give him a special round of applause. States Armor Reserve, First Sergeant Anthony Kuhn. First Sergeant Kuhn is a North Tonawanda graduate. Joined the Armory in 1996, and in 1999 he was all Army for wrestling and trained at the U United States Olympic Training Center in Colorado. He served in Iraq as advisor to the Iraqi Army Brigade in 2004 and was promoted to First Sergeant in 2009. He is now in charge of a company of drill sergeants. His awards include Bronze Star, Meritorious Service Medal, Army Commendation Medal, and the Combat Action, among many others. Let's give First Sergeant Anthony Kuhn a round of applause. Next, from the National Guard, Sergeant Kevin Reynolds. He is a graduate of Westfield Academy and Central School and served as a Marine Corps prison guard for 10 years in both Okinawa, Japan and Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. He joined the National Guard in 2003 and deployed to Iraq in 2004 and 2005, where he served as a military police team chief. He was responsible for the capture of three of Iraqis, of Iraq's most wanted insurgents, and currently serves in recruiting duty. 
duty in Buffalo. His awards include the Combat Action Badge, Army Commendation Medal, Army Good Conduct Medal, the National Defense Medal, and Global War on Terror Service Medal, among others. Let's thank Sergeant Reynolds for his service. Next, from the United States Marines, Staff Sergeant James McClendon. Staff Sergeant McClendon is currently a recruiter in Buffalo. As a select member of Lieutenant General McCarthy's Color Guard, he earned his first Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medals. He deployed to Iraq in 2007 and participated in training exercises with the Jordanians during Operation Moonlight in 2008. Among his awards are the Marine Corps Achievement Medal and Good Conduct Medal. Let's give Staff Sergeant McClendon a round of applause. And one more thing. We'd like to invite and ask any of you sitting in the audience that are either serving in the military or are military families or are veterans of military service, Please raise your hand so we can give you a hero's welcome and a buffalo thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Buffalo Bills fans, the Buffalo Bills Alumni Association, led by our very own Booker Edgerson, has made the Wounded Warriors program their main charitable cause for 2011. The Bills Alumni Weekend of Events will be held on the home opener weekend and will directly support the Wounded Warriors program with the funds that are raised. We are proud to support the Wounded Warriors program and we are very proud of the United States military and the men and women who serve our country. Now, the jerseys that our heroes are wearing right now are going to be available in all the merchandise locations everywhere and now 15 minutes, we're going to let you come down on the field. And they're going to start the movie in 45 minutes. You feel free to visit the fun zone, find a seat.